Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Dave and we are getting ready for another Transfer Express webinar. I want to thank you guys for tuning in and joining us here today. We're going to be talking about something that's pretty cool this time of year, and that's going to be vacation and travel t-shirts. I see everybody coming in here. Felicia from Tennessee, Connie, good afternoon to you, Kelly, Rachel, Sandra, uh, Murda, hi, hi, hi. Hi, Murda's here. Murda is here. Hey, guys, uh, go ahead and drop a comment in there. Love to see like Anna Marie from New Jersey, uh, where you guys are tuning in from. Tanya from Georgia, Warren, Ohio, right down the road from us. There we go. Michigan and Texas. Everybody kind of coming in here. Hey there, Tim uh, and Kristen TMG from Orlando. Nice and warm down there. We had some nice warm weather here. Um, and this photo here is from my vacation last week. All of us wearing our vacation shirts. It was timely. I had to include the photo in here and went down to Costa Rica and it was 90s and very humid. It was wonderful down there. But uh, yeah, I'll take a second to introduce myself as we have more people kind of coming in here. My name's Dave here with Transfer Express in the marketing department. And I got to say, I am uh, thrilled that you guys are here. I am dedicated to helping you and your t-shirt business succeed. I've been in the printing industry for a little bit over a decade now, do a ton of educational seminars at the trade shows, uh, Impressions Expo, Graphics Pro, haven't been to a Decorated Apparel Expo yet, the DAX shows as we affectionately call them, uh, but I will get to one soon. I promise, I promise. But I love being a part uh, of the printing industry. Pretty much any way you could put ink on a substrate, I've been there and done it. Uh, and I am thrilled with just heat printing and how accessible it is. Uh, from vinyl to screen printed transfers, our plastisol like goof proof transfers, to even our new digital direct to film ultra color max. It's just amazing how far the technology has evolved in such a short time frame and the amazing results that you could get. I started screen printing in my basement, wasting a ton of money and not getting the retail ready results. If I would have known about heat pressing and screen transfers back in the day, it would have changed my outlook on everything. So, uh, yeah, I'll just go through a, some quick housekeeping stuff here. We do have a live Q&A on our YouTube tomorrow, 2 p.m., so same time, a little bit different place. All you have to do is head on over to our YouTube. Pretty much any question that you have, uh, I, I will answer live on YouTube, whether it be something in our EasyView Online Designer or uh, any application issues. I'm going to try to have every single transfer type that we have, a few different uh, fabrics that we could print on. So it's just something casual we do on Fridays, be able to answer any questions or live demo stuff. If you're getting specifically stuck in one little spot or just need some advice, this is the avenue to do it. Again, here today, uh, Kathy's here. Kathy made it and always good to see you, Kathy. Um, and here, uh, yeah, today we're going to talk about stuff. But if you guys have questions, I have Mike behind the scenes here with me as well. He's going to be moderating the chat and he's in there. Um, and so he wants to be able to uh, be able to help you out. And I don't want to go too long today. We try to keep this about an hour. Uh, sometimes we go over a little bit, but I want to I want to try to focus on the material at hand here. So uh, if I'm not able to get to your question, Mike is here dedicated to get to your question and send you a link. Or if I'm going to mention some videos or some web pages, Mike's going to be able to throw you some links right in the chat right there. Now, we commonly are going to use just the chat section, uh, the Q&A only section. Mike will jump in between. Um, I have a hard time jumping in between them while I'm also presenting. So if you have any questions, try to keep them right here in the chat, and we're going to make sure that they get answered. Um, if you're familiar with our Toast to Transfers live pressing event that we do, uh, the next uh, kit is going on sale next week. So it's going to be a summer edition, and we are all really, really super excited here at Transfer Express about this next edition. Uh, it's coming up on almost a year of what we're doing uh, with, with Toast to Transfers, and it's kind of like a wine and design or a uh, drink and paint night, uh, except we invite you at home to just tune in with us. You buy the kit in advance so that you can press along with us. And this one's going to have a ton of value packed into it. I'm talking a tank top, an apron, a can cooler, a tote bag, uh, and all that's going to be released. The details are coming next week. So just stay tuned. Usually we advertise that right on the homepage of transferexpress.com. And then it's just a casual evening of us hanging out. You could ask questions. We get to press some stuff. And we always try to put items in there that maybe you haven't pressed before, like an apron or a a can cooler or a tote bag so that you could get comfortable in a more guided setting before you, uh, you know, we just want you to, to ease the frustration. So you're not going to be frustrated heat printing. Uh, and those are really, really cool sessions. So if you haven't attended a toast to transfers before, keep an eye out for that when that's coming. And of course, our events, our trade shows, we're so happy to be back out on the road as we're going to be talking about vacations and travels. <laughs> uh, but the travels that we're doing, 
Abby and Stacy from Transfer Express are at em- Everything Embroidery Market in Chattanooga, Tennessee, starting today and tomorrow. Um, I believe that one might be free to attend. So if you're in the Chattanooga area, uh, go to Everything Embroidery Market. Go ahead and just register and go hang out. You could be able to press some goof proof live on site. And those Everything Embroidery uh, shows are just fantastic of everybody getting together. Of course, uh, if you're in the Indianapolis area or anywhere around in the Midwest, Graphics Pro Indie is the beginning of June. That's June 2nd through 4th. Uh, and then uh, Graphics Pro Expo in the Meadowlands in New Jersey. If you're in that uh, the New York metropolitan area, the tri-state, Delaware, Maryland, New Jersey, New York, uh, even up into to New England there. That's going to be the closest we're going to be getting. That's Graphics Pro Expo in Meadowlands. That's going to be July 21st through 22nd. Then, of course, Long Beach, the Graphics Pro in August on the other coast over out there. And then the Impression Show down in Fort Worth where Kathy's at. Kathy, we're going to see you back down there in Fort Worth next time. But for those of you joining us late, uh, you're going to miss the entire intro there. And we'll just we'll restart it here for the ones who joined us in late. So I want to welcome you guys to Selling Vacation and Travel T-Shirts here, a Transfer Express webinar. My name is Dave, and I'm very excited to be able to present this topic with you guys today. We're going to cover a lot of exciting stuff uh, and kind of explore this this kind of really hyper-targeted niche and the different kind of facets of it so that you could feel confident going in there, printing the apparel uh, and positioning yourself to sell more because that's what this is going to be about. We're going to talk about how you could build this profit in here um, and and have everything ready to go for you so that you could actually have a great time printing those vacation t-shirts. Uh, if you did just tune in, this right here is a picture of my beautiful family on vacation last week in Costa Rica. And of course, We're all wearing our matching vacation t-shirts. I'm going to show you how easily this design came together in just a little bit. I'm going to recreate it all for you in our Easy View Online Designer. Uh, But it's super fun to be able to have the whole family. There's a couple family members cut off. They wouldn't fit the format. And I wanted to at least include me in there, or at least half of me (laughs) in there in our cool uh, matching t-shirts. So this was a fun one. And as you can see, it looks hot. And now it's cold in Ohio, again, 40 some degrees. So I am... I really want to get back. Uh, the Del, Delcinia, this will be recorded. Uh, it's going to be up on our YouTube channel. You'll be an email uh, after it, but I don't know if you're going to want to dip out. Uh, try to keep it rolling. We do have a very special gift for everybody here attending the webinar today um, that we'll email out to you if you attended. But uh, sorry, if you just registered, uh, you're not going to be able to get the gift. It's for attendees only uh, like we had in the email yesterday. So thank you guys for being here. And we want to reward you for being here with a very special gift uh, with some with some cool mock-ups. So we're going to be getting there in just a minute. Um, Anna, oh no, it's not Anna. Paula went in there. Uh, but Anna, it's cold here in New Jersey too. I know we had a little break of 70 degree weather, uh, but Paula, uh, it is going to be a slideshow presentation here. And then I am going to jump over and screen cap. I could wave to you from my office uh, here for a second. Hey, there I am in the bottom corner. I'm Dave right here waving to you, but <laughs> I'm going to go uh, just because it's so small and it's just my little face and I'm going to be looking a different direction. I usually turn the video off for it. So it's not as distracting. So bye. Bye, Dave. Bye, Dave. Hi, Laura from Central Illinois, Um, Becky from Northeast Ohio in our hometown in California. Awesome. Awesome. Well, let's get right into it. I don't want to waste too much time here. So our agenda today, we're going to be talking about the different markets that you could target. So vacation and travel markets um, and kind of the different niches of those as we could break them down. The more targeted that you're going to be uh, with your advertising or the positioning of your product or what you're sharing on social media, the more likely someone is going to, uh, it's going to resonate with them and they're going to go, yes, that's exactly what I'm looking for. So uh, we're going to cover a whole bunch of different topics and you could pick and choose the ones that you feel like that you know more about or that you're going to be able to service or be able to do all of them and take little screenshots of everything we're going to show you here today, be able to post it on your Facebook or social pages and say, hey, this is what I'm doing right now, guys, uh, road trips, just like this Dunn family shirt right here. Hey, guys, if you're doing road trips, uh, I do road trip shirts. So uh, your friends, family, we're going to talk about creating the art, designing your own uh, and uploading it into the Transfer Express kind of ecosystem or ordering transfers with it. Uh, and then we're also going to be talking about designing online. Uh, in the Easy View Online Designer, like I told you, we're going to take uh, those vacation shirts that I was wearing in the last slide, and I'll show you how I quickly created them. Uh, and when we're talking about time is money, time is money, 
And so the quicker that you could create it, the more profit that's going into your pocket. Um, that's really what I love the Easy View Online Designer for. I am a, uh, I'd say classically trained graphic designer, went to school for graphic design, still carry the student loans for my school for graphic design. Um, and so, uh, it, it, you know, for what you could do in Illustrator, uh, you know, it might take me 20, 30 minutes to whip something up real quick. But in Easy View Online Designer, it takes minutes. Uh, and so that really, really helps the workflow when I'm working with my friends, family, any clients that need help, or, or even showing you guys here today that we'll be able to show you. So um, we're also going to talk about, uh, as I talk about these different niches, I'm going to try to talk about how you could promote it uh, and get your business name out there, show your capabilities off, and where you could go to try to win some of this business. Because that's it's not just printing t-shirts sometimes. I know that's the most fun part of the t-shirt business is printing t-shirts. Uh, but sometimes going out and getting the business, it could be intimidating sometimes. Uh, and I want to try to break those barriers down so that you guys can have the best success going out there and being able to sell. And then we're also going to be talking about some licensing issues. Uh, we're, of course, if we're talking about vacations, the most popular is those Disney vacations. Um, and there's been some stuff going on with Etsy and especially uh, intellectual property that is trademarked or has copyrights on it. Uh, and so we're going to talk about that. Well, we're going to cover that uh, a little bit later. So let's get in and let's dive straight in and start talking about all of our vacation and travel markets. Here, we are looking at family and uh, extended family kind of destinations, road trips, uh, or any vacation. So we're talking the road trips. We're talking beach trips, uh, international trips down to Costa Rica or Mexico, Cancun, Jamaica. Uh, very similar to what I just did. Um, I had a lot of fun making the shirts for everybody uh, and actually surprised my entire family of eight that went on the trip with us uh, for with these shirts. So it was it was a nice little surprise. I pulled them out. I did want to pull them out at the airport and kind of embarrass any of everybody as we went through everything. But I, I reserved that until we were at least there on the first day and then made everybody wear them to lunch. So <laughs> at least we all wore them for a pretty much a whole day and was able to get a few good pictures. And it's a it's a souvenir and a memento that now we're going to carry with us uh, and remember that vacation uh, and remember the times we had together. And that's that's really something that when you think about T-shirts uh, or, I mean, purchasing anything, it's kind of a souvenir to remind you of that occasion or event, uh, that memory. So uh, and that's something that that it, that I'm going to probably bring up several times here uh, today when we talk about vacation or travel markets or uh, any occasion, any event uh, is great for T-shirts. That's it's exactly what it's there for. So um, when you're selling these, you know, you could think of those international trips or any vacation that any family is taking as simple as, say, this road trip that we see here on this one. To even like theme parks, if you're going to Cedar Point or Kings Island here in the Midwest, we have two huge theme parks or any Six Flags, Disney uh, or Orlando, any of the Universal Studios, uh, anything like that. When you plan a whole family vacation around it, it's great to have matching T-shirts because then number one, it's easy to keep an eye on everybody. I'm a dad. I understand how it is chasing kids around. Uh, and so you want everybody to match too uh, so that you can keep an eye on them, especially at those crowded theme parks and stuff. So it's great to have those bright colored shirts and everything there. Now, when you're uh, looking to kind of sell these, if you want to advertise on social media or uh, on your Etsy store, be sure that you have uh, your title as like the personalized family vacation shirts or even something like this, a personalized road trip shirt uh, where you're able to uh, capture a lot of that traffic of what you want on there. The personalization here, the Rogers family, Ohio to California, uh, is all personalized stuff that's going to be specific for this use and showing examples like this, exactly how it does have Ohio to California or Rogers family. You could point out that personalization and say, hey, I could do this. It's not like a regular print shop where you go there and it's, oh, you need 24 of the same exact design, um, it, you know, and it's too, it's too much. You're able to achieve this stuff and this level of personalization with uh, heat transfers and screen printed transfers or even the digital transfers that we're going to talk about too. So when you're selling these, think about uh, your your own family, number one. I thought of my own family, but then your neighbor, uh, your friends, uh, your coworkers, um, or Again, if you want to advertise on social media or TikTok, that's another way that you could win a lot of this kind of more uh, family centric vacation or destination kind of uh, matching T-shirts for the entire family. 
Now, I do want to mention here, we'll talk into sizing here in a little bit, uh, a little bit later, but I just want to show you here uh, that there are two different sizes here. So if you're unfamiliar with screen printed transfers, we do have gang sheets. So the transfers come on full 11 and a quarter inch by 14 inch sheets. And we were able to fit multiple pieces of artwork on this gang sheet. So uh, that tiny one, I think, is like four inches wide for the onesie. And then it's nine or 10 inches wide for that large license plate on the adult shirt. Uh, and those are the uh, ice dye from Port and Company. I love that black and teal dye. It is just so cool, so unique. Uh, and I know it's really popular right now in that whole tie dye and the bleach dye, this ice dye movement. So it's really, really cool. This one's actually printed with puff inks too. So it gives you a little bit more dimension, but it shows you the versatility of what you could do uh, with custom screen printed transfers. That's going to be uh, the extent of what we're going to talk about here on the, uh, the the family side. But then there's another market that you could target here in the, the bachelor, the bachelorette parties uh, stuff here. So it is a uh, huge now that especially a lot of the travel restrictions and uh, the pandemic. I mean, fingers crossed here is is kind of dying down that you see these destination uh, bachelorette or bachelor parties uh, happening more often. Going to Vegas or Nashville, New Orleans. Uh, I know Charleston, South Carolina is a huge destination city now for uh, these kind of girls trips or guys trips. Um, and yeah, so everything from, you know, Miami or L.A., San Francisco, people are going everywhere now for these these kind of, you know, like this one, New Orleans, Emily's Last Fling. The, the beignets, the booze, the besties. I could go for all of those right now. <laughs> that sounds real good on a Thursday afternoon here. But you have to think about uh, the destinations here. Uh, and one great way to start targeting, uh, if you haven't already, and getting into the bridal market, because there's a ton of stuff you could do. It's not just T-shirts. Uh, I mean, it's everything from robes and tank tops and those sashes that say bridesmaid uh, or little clutches, the purses, uh, can coolers, slippers. We did an entire video here on all the kind of out of the box stuff that we've seen people print uh, with their heat press for uh, weddings or bachelorette parties, any bridal parties. Uh, and you'll be surprised by how much there is out there. I'm going to see if Mike uh, could do his fast fingers moving behind the keyboard and be able to grab the uh, the, the link to that YouTube video for the, all those weird out of the box bridal things. Um, that you could print, but it's a great market because people are always getting married. And then the best way to get in front of those people is uh, you could run ads for people who are searching for weddings. Uh, if the, you know, they're searching for keywords that uh, revolve around weddings, destination, bachelor party, bachelor party ideas. Those kind of phrases are where you're going to get the most in tune targeted audience. Uh, the same with bridal shows, at least here in Cleveland, there's probably seven or eight, it's every every two months, there has to at least be one bridal show happening somewhere in the city. Uh, and getting into those shows is actually really affordable because you have a lot of uh, a lot of the florists and the DJs and even travel agencies who are booking honeymoons and these getaway trips. But you could get in on it by uh, opening a booth there and having all these shirts and saying, hey, we do all this custom decorating for robes and slippers. And yep, there's the video. I see Mike posted it right there in the chat. Uh, where you could offer all this stuff, and that's how you're going to win a lot of business. One customer buying a couple things for you from from you for say the wedding party or some koozies for the bachelor for the groomsmen um, or some custom flasks or something uh, is going to make the the payment that you're going to have to reserve a booth or a table at those events completely worth it. Not to mention you're going to get your name outs there there. So uh, it's something kind of out of the box that that people don't really think about is going to these bridal shows um, on there. You could also just sit at home and target on the internet, on Etsy with your those Facebook ads that I mentioned earlier, maybe any Google ads. If you even want to keep it close to your area on Facebook, you could geo-target ads too and just take an image similar to this um, or the capabilities of what you could do or have done in the past and be able to advertise those in front of people. So it's just, uh, you know, it's something to think about when people are doing these destination travel, uh, you know, bachelorette parties in this case, you know that they have money. So they probably have money for T-shirts, too. And that's where you're going to be able to profit on that. So uh, don't don't lose that, uh, you know, don't lose that 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 business that you could possibly get there and try to go out and, and win that business here. Now, uh, another uh, market 
for traveling uh, is going to be the school groups. Now, a great way that you could get in on the school groups is start local. If you have kids or neighbors, friends, family who have kids in the school system, uh, go to the schools, ask around. Uh, one great way that I've heard time and time again uh, and seen work firsthand myself is go to your local PTA meetings uh, because usually they're talking about, well, the eighth graders are going to Washington, D.C. in two weeks and you could throw your hat in the ring and be like, hey, I do custom printing. I could throw you guys a great deal if you want to get matching shirts for everybody. Or they say, hey, have we found a vendor for those shirts yet for the for the eighth grade trip? To, to Washington, D.C., and that's when you fly your hand up and go, I can do them. So it's a great way, and if you're not in that opportunity, you can't get there. But starting local is usually the best way they want to go. Uh, the schools like to give back uh, to the community and use uh, the community themselves. Uh, and a lot of smaller schools now uh, don't have any spirit stores or heat printing programs. I know a lot of the larger high schools, at least here in the Cleveland area, do have heat presses in their maker spaces, and they are running uh, entrepreneurship classes. Um, a good friend of ours, Trish Campbell, out in Indiana uh, does, or Illinois, I'm one of those two. I feel so bad for forgetting right now. Um, but uh, she's she does she runs an entrepreneurship program and prints shirts for the school. So maybe that's not a school you want to target, but uh, the middle schools that, uh, you know, usually those entrepreneurships are in the high school level. So uh, you want to target the middle schools, the elementary schools. Um, I have an example here that my wife was just working on uh, and that it is the zoo crew for one of their local field trips, a zoo trip. Uh, and so using one of the jumbo gang sheets was able to fit two up of the main graphic on the shirt and then put a whole bunch of these little cute clip arts of the animals that then the kids could decorate themselves. Uh, and so they get they get their own creative custom control. They're customizing their own shirt with a lion's my favorite animal. I want a lion on mine. And another kid goes, I want the turtle. I want the giraffe. I want a monkey and the elephant. And they're able to put those on and customize them. There's more than enough for everybody. And they get to play their own part uh, in printing the back of the shirt. Makes the kids real fun. Uh, and if you're printing these on a light colored shirt, of course, you could even like use those fabric markers and color in too. So it's, it could turn this huge activity for just one local field trip. So uh, and this is stuff that you could pitch. These are the ideas that you could bring to the table. And that's what's going to set you apart and make you unique over somebody just going to like custom ink online is that's really where you're going to stand out. You're a member of the community. You just brought a whole bunch of fun, unique ideas that they never thought of to the table. And bam, that's how you win that job. So those local field trips, be it to, I know we went to amusement parks too when I was a senior, um, or you know, uh, even you know, Washington, D.C., the senior trips, uh, the zoo trips. And starting local is going to be the best way that you could do it. Uh, and like I mentioned earlier, the t-shirts are a great memento or souvenir to remember that experience later down the road. So any of these occasions or experiences, I mean, we even have talked about in the past, like when we're talking family reunions, anything like that, all of those are a great occasion for t-shirts and you as a t-shirt decorator needs to capitalize on that. Um, Yasmin, that uh, Virginia Beach one is actually a clip art in our Easy View online designer. So you could just go in there and double click, change things around, drop the senior trip. Uh, I think it's Compton Beach. But uh, yeah, you could go in there and change the colors here. This is the three color goof proof, but I believe the clip art is just black and white. Uh, when we jump into Easy View in just a little bit, uh, I could try to find that layout for you because I think we're going to be in there. Um, Rachel, yes, this is going to be on the YouTube channel probably about next week, but we'll email it out for everybody who at least registered. Uh, we'll probably email that out tomorrow. Um, it, it's uh, it's a uh, you know it's a it's a shame to see you go. I'd love to have you here, but if you're having some computer issues, that'd be we'll 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 be you'll be able to follow up and and be on. Um, Cindy, the uh, Zoo one right here is made in Easy View Online Designer. It was printed as goof proof inks on a jumbo sheet. So that's 12 and a half by 17 and a half inches. So a little bit larger than that standard sheet size of 11 and a quarter by 14 inches. So, um, yeah, we will get into that. Now, another great uh, market that you could target is uh, the senior groups. There are a lot of senior tour companies uh, that are operating, whether it be cruises or casino trips or national parks or even those beach vacations, um, or some are just sightseeing like tours or even like river cruises. So those are all stuff you could target. 
And it's great to be able to bring up some partnerships uh, with even like those tour companies or travel agencies near you that are booking this because that is an add on service that then they could offer their customers. It looks great. And they don't have to worry about anything because then it's just tacked on for you as an add on. Hey, do you guys want matching sh shirts for the entire tour? OK, it's 20 bucks extra a person. And it's just built in. They're already paying a couple hundred bucks, maybe a thousand bucks for the entire tour. And now they're just, oh, what's 20 bucks to tack on another T-shirt then? And of course, and then you're winning that business. Uh, and it's not just T-shirts. It's hats and tote bags and towels and uh, can coolers. It's all of this extra stuff that's more than just T-shirts that you're able to capitalize on uh, for any group. It doesn't have to even just be the senior groups. Uh, but that's why I say like, Getting in touch with maybe a travel agency uh, for those bachelor, somebody who's doing a lot of bachelor and bachelorette parties and they're advertising that. Hey, I do T-shirts. I would love to be able to have this as an add-on service. I'll cut you a commission for anything you sell my way. And then people are like, hey, okay. Because what is it to mention or have a little card in their actual like retail storefront uh, that says, hey, add on some custom T-shirts. It's only 20 bucks. You could give them a cut back. The customer's getting a great deal. And you're still profiting and winning more business, getting your name out there, especially when you're hang tagging or inside tagging the shirts uh, with your own brand name. They know exactly where they came from. And when the next trip rolls around, they know exactly who they're going to go to again. This T-shirt rocks. I love the way it's, it's comfy. I, I, you know, I just love the design on it. And then they end up going back uh, to you again and again. It's a great way to get the repeat business. Uh, the family vacation shirts are a great repeat business too for like your your, your neighbors and your friends your co-workers because then they're always going to be you know hey go back to go back to dave he did the t-shirts last time um and just you know coincidentally i'm in the t-shirt business now for over 10 years and everybody that i know knows me oh it's dave the t-shirt guy if i need t-shirts or anything i go to dave uh, and that i don't even try to do that so when you go out and try to get your name out there and try to say hey i have all these capabilities i could do t-shirts for teams or uh, you know, sports uniforms or your travel shirts, your family vacations, uh, you know, maybe the corporate a picnic that happens every July. Like that's the kind of stuff that you could go and then you stay top of mind with everybody. And then there you go. You're all set. Maybe uh, when we talk about like these senior trips, uh, some nursing homes in your area, a lot of nursing homes organize these senior trips uh, to get up and out and about and matching shirts is something that they might they might be, you know, really yearning for that pride and that unification. And they're like, you know what? That's a great idea. So you kind of have to think out of the box sometimes. But that's what we're kind of that's what these webinars are built for is to help uh, get the gears going. Bam. See, Pam, a travel advisor and looking forward to adding T-shirts. Yes. See, it's so easy. And when you're booking people, hey, you're you're doing it. And then you have all the information. Oh, you're booking uh, uh, rooms for 12 people. OK, you're going down to Disney. You're going down to Orlando. Cool. Well, we could do some custom shirts and get everybody some matching custom shirts. You want some ideas? OK, cool. It's just a deposit of $50 and then $20 a shirt. Everything like what? however you want to make sense that it, or, you know, set it up so it makes sense for you and your business. But that is awesome. Uh, Emmanuel. Yeah. Uh, the designs in the uh, the Easy View Online Designer are all royalty free. We have a full staff of designers. We're not stealing them from the Internet. We have a full staff of designers who are making custom artwork built to help you and your business out. We know not everybody has the liberty to pay for Creative Cloud or learn how to use Illustrator or Photoshop. So we want to take care of that for you and make it as easy and accessible to print T-shirts as really heat printing is. With just a heat press, you could create some awesome retail-ready stuff. And that's what stalls. That's what Transfer Express is here built for you. We want to see your t-shirt business thrive, and we want to do everything in our power to do that. Even if you see some stuff in there that you're like, man, I'm doing ATV and snowmobile tours all the time, uh, and I don't see any snowmobile artwork, which is one of the one of the requests we've gotten, actually a webinar. And I'll, I immediately after this, uh, Mike takes a little screenshot of every suggestion for clip art that comes here in the webinars. I make a note of it and we're able to, to get that over to the design team so that we could be working on that. We release at least three new layouts each week, uh, along with a handful of clip art. So there is always new artwork hitting the online designer uh, and our designers go out to Old Navy and Target and they shop around on Etsy 
all the time. They are so in tune with the current trends, what's popular, and then they make artwork that's based on that. Like the uh, the messy bun mom with the sunglasses that was huge a couple years ago. Immediately, we were up on there with our own custom artwork that's completely royalty free. You don't have to worry about anybody coming after you for trademarks. It is your artwork to use. Um, the only thing is you can't download it out uh, and use it to cut vinyl or anything with it or have another printer go use it. You have to purchase transfers with it. Otherwise, it stays in the ecosystem. But you can use it to mock stuff up, uh, which I'll show you here in a little bit, where you could go out and actually, uh, you know, without producing anything, mock up some some sweet apparel that you're able to then share on your Etsy store as a product listing or share on your social media uh, to try to get pre-sales or anything you want in there. So it's really, really cool. So another market, uh, I got bogged down on, on that one. Um, we're going to try to keep going and keep going. But um, and here with the um, the vacation and travel, uh, let's keep going into travel and hiking clubs. Uh, so any of those outdoor clubs is a great way to get onto it. The canoes, the kayaks, the whitewater rafting kind of stuff like that. Um, anything that you're going to be doing. Uh, and a great one that I just want to point out right here on this is that uh, this little Chaplin Forest that's on the pocket you could print this same hike hoodie for on a whole bunch of different colorways and they could all fit on the same gang sheet when we're talking about grouping this artwork together on one sheet. And then you just swap out the forest or the region or the state park or whatever you are targeting for. Or maybe this is even like a family hiking trip that could be the, the Chapin family or whatever you want to put on there. But you could easily swap that out so that you could customize them and personalize them uh, for each, you know, each family or state park that you want to do it. And that's really what's going to set you apart. Those added print locations to increase the value. And in turn, when you're increasing value, it might cost a little bit more of your time, but you're going to be able to charge more, which means more profit coming in for each shirt. And so when you're saying I'm making $5 on 10 shirts, it's 50 bucks. But if you're making $10 on five shirts, that's where it's still 50 bucks. <laughs> But if you're making ten dollars on ten shirts, that's a hundred bucks. You get you get where my math is going there. I'm an artist and a graphic designer, not a mathematician. <laughs> so, um, right on in here again. Those adventure trips, the canoeing, sailing, horseback riding, zip lining, white water rafting, ATV tours, snowmobile tours, um, the the bike tours. The, that's a huge thing too coming around. Uh, that we see people even in major cities here in Cleveland, we have a bike tour company that just started up the uh, tiki boats or the uh, those kind of like, man, where there's like the tiki bikes where everybody sits around and you're actually allowed to drink on the bike as everybody pedals and somebody steers you around uh, and you get to have some drinks while you're doing it. All that fun stuff. That's all stuff that kind of fits into this whole travel uh, and kind of leisure stuff, as we'll call it. But even camping, uh, a great way to talk about that is like when you're trying to win that, uh, you know, some camping stuff, go to, you always see those like state park shirts and like convenience stores and gas stations around the area. So if you're in one of those regions, try to partner with those other locations. And I'll get into partnerships here in just a little bit, uh, but that's just, that's kind of just touching on what, what, you know, the different ways that you could try to sell more apparel as an apparel decorator. Um, so of course, general travel themes are a great way to do it. Think, uh, Think the boardwalk when you go to Virginia Beach, Myrtle Beach, uh, Daytona, and you see all those boardwalk shops that have the very kind of generic, maybe destination based or just stuff like this, where it's like vacay mode or the big one that we saw was uh, like out of office when people are celebrating. Wow, this is the first vacation I've had in two years. I'm out of office. So they'll have shirts made that say out of office. Uh, and so they could they could take pride that they are not checking emails that day. Um, when I was on vacation, I tried not to check emails. I still checked some. It's hard. It's hard to completely unplug. But I was able to unplug for a few days there um, with minimal, minimal distractions, <laughs> we'll say, uh, from the beach. But yeah, when you're thinking of just these general ones, even if it's summer vibes, the vacay mode, uh, we saw some pandemic related ones like finally being able to go on vacation. And we really, truly have seen a huge increase. And it happened early this year. And I think it is because now that more people are much more comfortable traveling, uh, the airline prices aren't skyrocket high. It's still super affordable. The destinations are still trying to bring people in because they're hurting from those pandemic years. So seeing how much travel has been going on when we've been traveling out to shows and even when I was hang headed out to my own spring break vacation, uh, the airports were all slammed 
everywhere. So you know people are out on the road and we've seen a huge uptick of all of these vacation shirts. So, you know, we wanted to share the share the wealth and try to help you guys get a piece of this pie too, because it's only going to ramp up as we get more into these warm weather months, the summer, uh, and you're going to see much more traveling as the kids are out of school. Um, and this is the time when people are comfortable traveling. You've been saving the money the entire pandemic, and now you're ready to, to spend it all and go on a vacation. I know <laughs> I did. Um, but yeah, just in this general vacation uh, theme, just generic kind of shirts. Now that we're out of the uh, general kind of markets I wanted to talk about today, let's talk about creating art. So the first thing when we're talking about creating art, very similar to uh, what I was kind of talking about on that first one, even though it was different sizes for a baby onesie or a uh, adult shirt, but even mine, my personal Costa Rica shirts that I did for me and my family, I sized to the smallest size shirt on the order. So in my daughter's youth, I think extra small, she's a toddler. Um, she wears a youth extra small is still big on her. She'll grow into it, you know, soon. <laughs> um, but I sized to that. So uh, you can see here youth small on this chart. The third one down is about eight and a half by eight and a half inches. I went nine inches and it was a little large on the front of her shirt. Uh, but as a circle design, it looked perfectly fine and the right size for everybody else. So all the adults, uh, it was the same size design. I printed those in goof proof screen printed transfers. Uh, so you, I didn't want to take up extra space on the sheet uh, by making a small one because I did gang it together with uh, some completely unrelated artwork, which I'll show you here in just, just a minute. So I did about, yeah, I believe, nine inches for that one. And it looked great on adult sizes and youth alone. So that's going to be one way that you're going to be able to profit as well. But this is a great chart. Uh, if you guys are just screenshot this one right here to have it handy. Uh, standard adult being 11 by 11, that's going to be that full front area. Our, our sheet size uh, maximum for our standard sheet is 11 and a quarter inch by 14 inches. So 14 inches wide on even like a medium shirt is almost shoulder seam to shoulder seam, like uh, your sleeve seam to sleeve seam. So you don't really want to get too much bigger than, say, 11, 12, depending on the design. And when you have a circle, if you have an 11 inch circle, that 11 inches looks humongous on the shirt. Uh, and of course, my rule of thumb is always about three fingers down from collar. So my rule of fingers, I guess I should call it. <laughs> my rule of fingers, uh, the industry standard, about three fingers down from collar for most designs. Of course, if it's just text like horizontal, you might want to make it a little bit lower than three because three might ride up a little high. And then if it's all, all a very tall vertical graphic or maybe even like a circle, uh, you don't want it to get too low. So you might be maybe one finger down from the collar, an inch down from the collar. Uh, you you kind of get my drift. You kind of play around with it. We have a great video on the YouTube about how to size and place your own designs, looking into a mirror, uh, holding it up to yourself, engaging based on just how many fingers fit from the top of the design to the bottom of the collar. And then when you take it off yourself and it's just this flat uh, rectangle t-shirt shape that you're still able to say, okay, this is my point of reference. It looked good when it was on me. Uh, and so the, these sizes right here, a pocket, if you're printing on a pocket, three and a half by three and a half. So you want to stay away from those seams. If you're doing the heart print, so like a, a, a bona fide left chest, about four and a half is going to be the largest you're going to want to go on that. And sometimes even four and a half looks large, especially when you're looking at youth shirts or kid shirts, like definitely something more like a three or three and a quarter. A four and a half inch circle is quite large. Uh, so like a circle artwork or something, you're going to want to keep it in that range uh, as well. So, yeah, you can add artwork to any place on the T-shirt uh, that you want to. I encourage those unique placements. We've seen a lot of the side prints or like the three-quarter or even like the lower back prints coming back in. Those, those were popular uh, right when I got into the printing industry around 2010, 2011. Uh, and those are kind of coming back around and you see more and more of them. I loved them. Uh, and I don't know why they they kind of fell out of trend. So it was it was a little weird to see that one. Um, come back, but I, I love it. I love it. It's and and those unique placements now, like even like that one on the pocket that we saw on that on that hiking hoodie a little a little a few slides back there. Really, really awesome to see those. Uh, and it makes it unique. It makes the apparel just incredibly attractive uh, for your own customers. Uh, Clifton, spiritual art. I'm sure we have uh, quite a few pieces of spiritual art in there. Um, I think we even have a whole religion section. Yeah, uh, right there. Religious, right there. There you go, Mike. See, Mike's the champion behind the scenes here as I kind of peek over every now and then um, and and check stuff out. I see Cindy Ann saying, <laughs> laughing my own side jokes. That makes it real. 
I uh, I crack myself up sometimes, and sometimes my jokes are very very cheesy. But the the more dad joke uh, kind of ask my jokes are, the more they make me laugh. So if you guys ain't got any dad jokes, light them up in the comment section. And I'll laugh to your jokes too. So I'm not just laughing <laughs> to my own. Kelly knows what I'm talking about with the unique placements. It really does set them apart, and uh, even people go, "Where did you get that from?" Because it is so unique, and then boom your company name comes out of their mouth. And what's better than word of mouth advertising? Nothing. Because the number one purchasing decision, uh, no marketing could beat family and friends telling people about a service or a product that they bought and they absolutely love it. So that word of mouth advertising is absolutely fantastic. And I see Mike even getting in on his dad jokes too. Mike, don't don't let Mike prove you wrong. He loves those dad jokes too. He loves, he loves, oh, we, we laugh about our own dad jokes. <laughs> who, who are we kidding here? So let's talk about creating artwork. I'm going to grab a drink real quick. I'm talking here for, uh, yeah, for my, my, a mile a minute. <laughs> but we're going to talk about Easy View Online Designer and how to create artwork. Of course, right here, you see the bottom uh, in that blue bar uh, on the left-hand side. Always, you could just click upload your own art. So if you are a pro in Photoshop or Illustrator, Corel Draw, Affinity Designer, or any of those programs, you could click upload. Upload pretty much any type of file, and you're able to bring it in. Vector files, if you do upload them in, so something like a, a Illustrator file, EPS, SVG, if you've bought uh, some artwork from SVG catalogs. Most of the time, you're able to ungroup those right in the design space here in Easy View Online Designer. So it handles it just like Illustrator would, where you could pull elements out, ungroup it, or regroup it, or you say, man, I really want to color this one element white. And if it is its own separate element and not combined or merged with any other shapes, you could change just that one element to white. So really, really cool. It is created for you. Like I was talking about, all those layouts are in there. So 7,000 plus customizable layouts. And that catalog is growing weekly. Every single week, we're making new layouts in there. And it's super easy to use. I'll show you here in just a minute how easy it truly is to use. I love it. Even having a full-fledged design background because it is so quick to be able to pull things up. Uh, it is preloaded with 10,000 pieces of clip art. And like I mentioned, we're adding a handful of those new every single week to 250 plus fonts, uh, 70 plus standard ink colors for our screen print and transfers, or you could upload anything in CMYK and we could print the entire CMYK color gamut with our full color transfers. The best part of all of all of this is that it's free. 100% free, absolutely no obligation. The only thing you need is an Active Transfer Express account, and which is also free to get. So uh, you can register for free with that Transfer Express account. Um, we always say picking up our marketing kit is kind of the key to unlocking the designer because it truly is because you get the idea book. So it's a catalog of all of the layouts and clip art that without a computer or without an internet connection that you can uh, show your clients the artwork and then they could pick it out. All of that's color coded or number coded so that you could pull up the layout in easy view and easily adjust that. So if you just want to meet with somebody, you could give them the idea book that you get. And it's that marketing kit is customized to you and your business. So they don't know that Transfer Express exists. They think that all of our capabilities that we have here, this designer is 100% fully you and your business. So if you are just a one person shop operating out of your garage, it makes you truly look like you are a pro with a storefront and you have your entire business plan together and you have so much to offer the customer. But in, and realistically, that helps you win business. And that's what we are all about here. So even when you create a, a Transfer Express account, we do not ask you for a credit card number. Uh, we ask you for a tax ID, uh, which you don't need to have. You could click a little checkbox and could proceed creating an account without one. We're just going to charge you sales tax then. So if you do have a business and a business license and everything set up, uh, you could set everything up with us and have your tax forms on file so that we don't charge you sales tax. If you do just want to buy us, uh, you buy from us, it's fine. It, it, we'll, we'll absolutely let you have it. And there's no price difference, um, except, of course, the sales tax, if you're getting that, <laughs> that tacked on as well. But it's just very similar, you know, and I would say it's, it's you know, it's, I'd say it's similar to like Sanmar or SNS where you have to create an account. They have to know you're a legit business. But we're more like uh, like Jiffy shirts minus the, 
the, the added increase in price. Now, if you're buying wholesale apparel, like I mentioned, these two companies that sell wholesale apparel, you betcha, we sell wholesale apparel here too at transferexpress.com. Uh, and you don't need a business license or anything on there. And I think orders over $300 ship free. So if you're buying a whole bunch of shirts, you ship free. So here, uh, let's head on over to the Easy View Online Designer. Now I'm going to turn my screen sharing on and we should see what our Easy View Online Designer looks like. Now, this is just from transferexpress.com. And uh, this is what it looks like when you just get started. You have your getting started menu. Of course, when I mentioned you could upload your own art, you could upload your own art. That's exactly it. I did my own shirts with uh, right here with um, with our Easy View Online art. So I just want to show you how I created them and how fast it truly is to create. So uh, let's just go right here. Add layouts. This is our blank space. I do have screen print and goof proof transfers here all set. So that's right here on the bottom left. Our standard sheet size. Of course, you could go jumbo too, like that Zoo Crew shirt that I showed you. That is jumbo shirts. Uh, that's the jumbo sheet size. So we were able to fit two full size graphics on that, along with everything else along on the bottom. You set your quantity, everything here at the bottom. Um, and I don't want to like super bore you with all the minutia and go through this whole easy view demo because we have like webinars dedicated solely to all the features here. And believe me when I tell you, we could be here for hours uh, in easy view online designer showing you all the features and functionality. So this is going to be a super brief overview. Um, and if you have questions, please leave them in the comments section here. Um, and if you want to see me poke around and demo easy view or have a specific question, tune back in tomorrow at two on our YouTube. And I would be happy to go through that in there today. I'm going to try to keep this around an hour, though. So I'm just going to show you how easy this is right in here. Um, of course, I am streaming upload as well. So I Usually this runs very, very fast, uh, but when I'm on internet that's streaming and downloading at the same time, uh, presenting out to you that uh, I just, you know, it sometimes gets hung up. So I don't, I'm gonna, I just wanna preface everything with that, uh, that this, uh, especially since we launched this new designer, it it flies now. Um, and that's essentially it. You don't need a super bulky computer or uh, a super powerful computer. Like when you're using Photoshop or Illustrator, this is all browser-based. So as long as you have an internet, internet connection, you could log into your own sessions and be able to, uh, from anywhere, log in on any computer, tablets, even phones. Uh, it's a little clunky on a phone because we are designing, but if you have artwork already designed and you just need to place an order or make a tweak or add something to a gang sheet, totally easy to do. Uh, and so, yeah, so right here, these three layouts right here made it in this week. These are brand new. It always opens to the promo layouts tab. There's that one that we were talking about earlier, that... Uh, that beach shirt. I forgot exactly who was asking about it, but it's right here in the promo layouts tab and right here, QVA31. So always, if you wanted to search, you just go, um, you actually type instead of right click QVA31 and you'll see that it pulls that artwork up, but we're going to clear that and go right back here into here. New artwork just get published as we are in here. Sure looks like it. Absolutely love it. I'm telling you guys, these designers are adding stuff all the time. I've never actually seen one in real time get added. So, so that's pretty rad. That's pretty rad. That's a that's an occasion that we all just shared right here. So here, just like we were talking about kind of these, these different occasions, uh, and uh, Mike had thrown in the uh, the religion. They're all here. They're all sorted. So we're just going to go occasions, travel, vacations. So here we'll go through, we see all of these load in. And like I mentioned, it's usually much faster. I'm just uh, streaming and uploading a live presentation here with you today. Um, so I'm just gonna scroll here and try to find the one that I used. Sure enough, just two down right here, I use this Good Vibes one. Now this Good Vibes one's gonna load into our online designer workspace with some distressing on it. But I don't want that distressing, I want it to look nice, uh, nice and easy. And usually, like I mentioned, it's, it's much, much faster than this. Um, can you put the site in for the art editing? I'm not exactly sure what you're asking there, Clifton. Um, oh, for the art editing, for the designer that we're in right now, uh, it is transferexpress.com slash design, designer. Um, and if you go to Transfer Express, if you just click order transfers, it'll pop up right in there um, and it'll bring you right into this design space. Um, I'm not sure exactly what's happening to me right here. Um, I think my internet connection, I hope you guys could hear me still all right. That's the most important part here but I wanna be able to show this to you as well. Let's see if we could add this one in. There we go. Um, it's just my, my internet. The webinar jam does not like me today. So here, we're just gonna clear this distressing and this is how easy it is to edit one of these layouts. I just click clear, there it is, it's gone. So I don't want Compton Beach and I also don't want these bottom waves because I wanna put the date and stuff. So I'm gonna go up to object and ungroup. 
click this bottom section. I'm just clicking delete. You could also click this trash can. If you make an oopsie, you could click this button. So we're just going to click this and I'm going to click this trash can. So that's going to go out. Uh, we'll just double click on this text. I'm going to say Costa Rica, just like I made these shirts here. Um, and I'm not really a big fan of this blackjack font that's preloaded into here. And I'm just going to turn that a little bit. So I'm going to click on this and pull up my favorite font of the year, and it's Glaw. Uh, this is just a cool, super trendy shirt or super trendy font. I like it a lot. So here, uh, and we have an outline already applied from the layout. So I'm just going to go here and I'm going to say I don't want an outline. So we're going to remove outline one. And now you're where the text go, but it's actually right here. The color is no ink. So we're just going to change this over to black. So everything is all black all together now. Now we like that. Um, and it made Costa Rica a little too turny. So uh, a little, this went a little too long compared to that last uh, letter style. Uh, and so I'm just going to pull that in right there. Now I want to add uh, a date. So let's just add, uh, all I did was click add text, pulls this in here too. So I'm just going to type in 2022. And I want to make this outlined like we had the text before I changed it. So I'm going to tuck that one in right there. I'm going to go outline here. And I'm going to say touching outline because I don't need to do two outlines. We'll just change this one here. I'm going to change everything over to denim here in a second for our colorway. Um, and so I'll just change it to denim first. I'll go back, click on our black, which is our fill color in here. And I'm going to click no ink. So there we go. There is our 2022 with an outline. Now I want to add some little waves here that are, are not as... Uh, full circle as the waves we originally had in there. So we'll go into clip art. We'll go into clip art and just click waves. And I like this one, but I'm going to see if there's any more in here. These aren't uh, as organic as I want. So let's click these guys right here. We'll bring them in, just adjust the sizing. I'm just clicking on the corner. And of course, if you wanted to skew this in any way, you could click off resize proportionately and really kind of make them wavy if you want. I'm going to click undo. Um, and undo, and I'm going to set this back to resize proportionally so I could just grab this corner and be confident that they're going to stay where I want them to stay. We'll kind of match that shape a little bit as we fit in there. And like I mentioned, let's change all the colors over now. This is essentially the exact same design of what I printed on my shirt uh, for my family. So we're just going to change all these colors over to denim, denim and denim. So now the only color we have printing is denim. We'll take our apparel color right here in the bottom left, and we're going to shift this one over to, let's say, Carolina blue, a nice tone on tone, like I showed you at the beginning of the webinar here. And then we'll size this to that nine inches that I talked about, uh, fitting that all on there. So now on our standard size sheet, we have 11 and a quarter inch by 14 inches, going to tell you right here. And this is what a nine by 7.53 graphic looks like. Pretty cool. We have a ton of extra room on our sheet here. So just like I did with my own artwork uh, when I was doing it, I just uh, threw in some more artwork in there for another job actually that I was doing. So uh, here we'll just do work. We'll click on best sellers or uh, let's say construction or something, um, which was the company that I was using. Now I did uh, a little bit more, a little bit more design for their construction logo here, but say you're gonna size this for four inches for a left chest. You could fit this one right in here. I mean, man, you could even probably turn this sideways and eh, maybe not. We'll just we'll just try to load this up as much as we can. We'll put two right here and then we'll make a big one right here and we'll size it for 11 inches wide. So a big full uh, back or left chest. If these are going to be left chest, this is going to be the, the big back print. Uh, and of course, just like anything, you could just click in here. So say uh, you want to change it, re residential and commercial, and then you want to add a phone number, 888-622-6280, or whatever you want to do, confirm. It's just going to pop it in right there. So now you have it all in there. If you wanted to stretch this text and make it full width, there you go. You're all set. Everything's in there. Again, just double clicking, and we could say this is Davis, Davis Construction move it all around wherever you want. And now we have a full loaded gang sheet. We'll say screen print goof proof. We have our size. We could set our quantity in here. So say we need, um, you know, what, 12 quantity for all of these. Big family going on a Costa Rican vacation and everything here. It's 62 bucks, $5.21 per image. That $5.21 is for the entire sheet. So you have one, two, three, four. So four, five, 21 divided by four uh, is a uh, pretty cheap cost. So I'm just jumping to the calculator. 521 divided by four is uh, effectively $1.30 per print. So $1.30 in ink here, $1.30, $1.30, $1.30. So $2 for this shirt if we're doing a left chest. And this one here for my own family is just a buck thirty. 
that's super easy. Uh, Yasmin, that font is called Glaw. Yes, it is uh, my favorite. Um, so that is it. This is exactly what you do essentially here in our easy view online designer uh, makes it really, really, you know, super easy. And that's why it's called easy view online designer. Um, and so we'll go back to the slides here. This is, uh, you know, that's that's the fun stuff that you can do. Actually, I'm going back to the screen share. I went I went back too quickly here. Um, so I do want to show you something cool, too, because I talked about doing all those mock-ups and making everything fit uh, in the special present that we have for you guys today. And that is part of our mock-ups. Uh, so here in our Easy View Online Designer, we haven't ordered anything. We haven't done anything. You could save this job right up here, clicking Save. And so this is going to be saved. But then we'll click uh, Mock-up. So here is one that we uploaded. So you could click Upload My Own. Um, and this is effectively the mock-up pack that we are giving you guys for free today. So you get every single one of these in here, uh, save for the tie-dye. I think there's a few of these that we, uh, we were playing around with, but there's five total layouts. A lot of them are the ones that we saw here in our presentation today. Um, so like this one, we just clicked vacation blue t-shirt and these are the packs that you're going to get. So then you click on mock-up upload my own and upload this up into the system. So you could see exactly what the shirts are gonna look like and use this to try to get that business for yourself. So Mike's gonna be posting a link in the chat if he hasn't already. Um, that's gonna give you guys the download link for those five uh, free mockups. They're sized to 1400 by 1400 pixels. Uh, and so you're going to be able to, uh, you're gonna be able to, to set those up as an Etsy shop uh, product photo or bring them over to social media and they're gonna look nice and high res and you're gonna be able to mock them up just like I am right here. So what I'm gonna do is because I have my whole gang sheet, I don't want my entire gang sheet up there. I'm just gonna make the selection for what my Costa Rica shirt is, click selection only, and there it goes, it's gonna delete everything else. Now this one, I could try to size up and eyeball a nine inch and that's probably gonna be about right here. And this is the back of a shirt, but you can make it the front of a shirt, uh, whatever you want to do. This is just one of them. That's the back of the shirt. So here you could size it up and say, that's it. Download it using the button right here is going to download this so that you could email it to your customers or you could send it to social media and advertise your uh, your capabilities or pre-sale shirts. Say you are in Costa Rica and just trying to say, hey, buy some 2022 Costa Rica shirts. Here you go. This is the way to do it. But you could do this with any of the artwork in Easy View Online Designer and then easily just order transfers. So let's say if everything is all set, you downloaded this, it looks good. We'll go back to the edit menu. This gang sheet looks good. We'll click our next menu. We'll go in here. We're gonna talk about fabric compatibility here in just one second, but that's gonna be your step. And then you go one more review and approve. You see your entire sheet, all the artwork, your live proof as it all is. You see your price, you see what day this is gonna ship. All this stuff is so easy. There's no guessing, there's no nothing. It's all right here, all ready to go. So um, now I'm going to go back to the slide. <laughs> now I'm going back uh, to the slides here um, and we'll wrap up this presentation. So back on over, we talked about what Easy View is, all of those cool customizable layouts, the clip art, I showed you everything in there, uh, even adding your own text and choosing from all those fonts and how free and easy it is to use. Uh, Mike, did you get that in there for the, yep, the vacation mock-up pack right there. You guys could download and get those. Tony, I'm glad you asked about the DTF transfers. That is the same exact um, the same exact program that you're going to do it. And I'll show you that in just one second, because we're going to actually going to switch some pricing around and check some of, uh, check some of those. Uh, Karen, uh, that mock-up is actually one of Transfer Express's, but because you are here right now, it is now yours. We sent you that link uh, and we'll send you an email as well. Uh, but that's yours to use now, uh, for free. Uh, so that we just want to help you guys out in your business and hanging out with us, uh, here on a, on a Thursday afternoon, uh, bettering your t-shirt business, man, I don't know what, uh, you know, what I'd rather be doing. I This is the place that I wanna be here with you guys, helping you out and your dedication to be just being here uh, and trying to better you and your t-shirt business uh, floors me. So I wanna give you guys the moon. I would give you free transfers if they would let me, but I'm relegated to mock-up packs <laughs> these days. Um, uh, Faith, we're gonna be talking about DTF here in just one second. Um, if you have your own logo added to the custom clip art, will I be able to change the colors? You absolutely can, Laura. Uh, that's the benefit of having custom clip art. Uh, I don't want to get too far into custom clip art, but essentially if you have ordered with us before uh, and uploaded your art into the system, it's super cheap and easy to just have that art added into the catalog. So essentially it is uh, our, our designers will configure it to be exactly the same as like one of those layouts or clip art that you could just easily add in to any project. So if it's your logo or something that you're ordering a, a ton of, 
you could add that into the custom clip art so that it's always there, easy, ready to access and use. Uh, and it's also going to print cheaper. We have our three tiers of pricing, the Easy Prints pricing, which is using the designs that we do in EasyView Online Designer, like I just showed you. Uh, that was all built completely in EasyView with not anything uploaded. Uh, then, of course, if you're uploading your own art, like your own logos and stuff that you want to turn into custom clip art, if you're ordering, if you're uploading vector files, AI, EPS, PDF, SVGs, uh, those are going to be on the next pricing tier. And then the most expensive pricing tier is going to be raster art. So uh, things that you steal from the internet or screenshots or napkin sketches, because that does, uh, there is some file prep that has to go behind it. We don't want to nickel and dime you with hidden fees, depending on what it is. Uh, so we just show you the price up front. That's why we have three pricing tiers. So that regardless of where your artwork is coming from, whether you're uploading it uh, in a print ready format, in a vector file, uh, or just uh, you have a napkin sketch, an idea, and you want a designer to, to take it from an idea to a finished product uh, with revisions and proofing, that is what uh, it's going to be. That's what's included kind of with the uh, um, the artwork fees everywhere else. Of course, if you just want a proof, it's always just 22 bucks, uh, which we're going to talk about in our DTF kind of conversation here. So uh, this is, you know, this is choosing the right transfer product and making sure you're choosing the right one. Uh, we have our transfer selector tool, which is on the bottom here, uh, which select or selecting your print method and going through. We have the link there. I think Mike could throw the link for the transfer selector tool. Let's just ask you a few questions. Hey, what fabric are you printing on? How many colors are in your design? Because if you really don't know, it's going to point you in the right direction. One color print, you're going to be able to go and and it's going to tell you goof proof is going to be your best option. Or if you're under a certain quantity, because it asks you what quantity you're printing, if you're under a certain quantity, it's going to tell you, hey, ultra color max DTF transfers are going to be the way to go. Um, and so that's a great way to talk about it here. Um, Easy View kind of has it built in. You know what? Let's go back on over to Easy View. And I'll show you that EasyView kind of has this built in here already. So at the bottom, you can see what these are all for. Recommended for one to two color printing, traditional screen printing process. Here, ideal for artwork with three plus colors, shading, gradients, digital based print process. So photographs, stuff like that. Ultra Color Max right here, when we select full color, Ultra Color Max is that super popular uh, DTF, that's direct to film transfer, all right here. 100% cotton, 100% polyester, cotton poly blends, tri blends, CMYK, full color spectrum, no clear outline, no adhesive outline whatsoever, uh, lightweight everything. So, uh, all of this right here, all right in there. So, that's our ultra color max. But as you can see here, uh, our pricing kind of changes as we, as we move around. So, if we're doing 12 of this entire gang sheet, uh, in Ultra Color Max, you see all of our stuff set here. And this is this is like instant quoting. So whenever you want to make sure, always just be switching back and forth. Karen, yes, uh, fortunately, Ultra Color Max is a, a digital print process. Uh, and so instead of printing in spot colors, uh, like our goof proof or screen printing, uh, we are only able to print it in CMYK, kind of like any other printing, uh, cyan, magenta, yellow key uh, or black and white. Uh, it prints with white as well. So it's CMYKW uh, with that. But uh, RGB is more uh, light, so that is um, coming from your monitors. It is RGB, so red, green, blue. When you add them all together, it makes white. When you remove them all, it makes black. Uh, when you're printing with CMYK, you add all your inks together, and it makes black instead of white with RGB. Um, and then you remove all of the colors, and it makes white uh, or any substrate or any color of the substrate, so commonly paper uh, in there. So that's a little brief uh, CMYK RGB ex explanation. Um, we own, in spot colors, of course, are... Spot colors, uh, Pantone values. You cannot Pantone match. You could get a bridge value if you're really conscious about colors. Uh, you could use the CMYK bridge value and uh, get close to a Pantone match, but we cannot guarantee exact matches on anything other than custom mixed Pantone ink. So if you have your goof proof screen printed transfers, tell us what Pantone number we will match it spot on exactly and guarantee that ink color to be spot on. Uh, but that's the only process that we can do that for. Um, so here, we look between these pricing options, got on our RGB CMYK tangent, that's okay. These are our pricing options here at the bottom. So full color, ultra color max, we're at 109.44 for this entire gang sheet. So remember that, 109.44. Let's just click on this, switch back to screen print and goof proof, and we're down to 62 bucks. So you could see that goof proof for this entire project is much more cost effective in a single color uh, than going with the DTF. Now let's say, let's switch this down to six quantity, okay? So we're doing half the quantity. This is going to jump up to $9.64 per piece. It's $57 total for goof proof. So let's just go back over full color, ultra color max, and we're down to 
$54. So now we're beating it by $3. You can save $3 by switching over to Ultra Color Max. Now, say you didn't need any of this other stuff. You just needed this nine inch wide Costa Rica graphic for, say, yes, yeah, six members of your family. Whoops, I missed the hat. Let's delete the hat too. So here you can see with just six, we're not even meeting the minimum order. So we could order six of these uh, nine by seven graphics for $25. So only four, four seventeen a piece. But say if we needed eight, then we're breaking that threshold now to $32 and it's 408 per image. So, uh, you know, you could order one of these, but it's just going to be 25 bucks. It just, that's the minimum cost to run anything through our system. If we're running this entire, uh, you know, job through the system and shipping it out to you. Um, yeah, we're $25 is uh, if you're getting it for six cents a square inch and you're doing a one by one, uh, that doesn't make sense for anybody there. So, uh, even here, just $25 for custom tr transfers like this is really cool. I don't, I still don't know how we can make money on this, uh, but helping you guys in your t-shirt business out, uh, this is, this is how it, this is, you know, what we need to do. Uh, Gene, uh, you have a design in CAD works. Do you just save it out as a PDF and upload it? Bingo. That's all you need to do. And it was, it'll upload right in here as a raster. Um, and you could adjust this exactly the same way. So if you say, uh, object ungroup, I don't want, you know, I don't want some of these. They're, they're like every other. So like you could pull them out to make them more sunshiny, or we could ungroup one step further or just click undo. We'll grab this one, ungroup, and we'll grab it. And now we could just pull one out. Or if you wanted to individually color all of these, now that we have our full color and ultra color max, we could say, let's make this one. Let's just do the whole the whole range here. So you could go in and just recolor all of these. And whether you're uploading your own uh, SVG file format or whatnot, and so those were all the same there too. So uh, whenever you're doing your, you know, however you want to upload it, as long as it's coming in, it's going to be able to be recolored just like this one is. Um, as we go down, you know, the entire colorway. So we could do all of this. But uh, yeah, so you could see based on your project, switch between the full color and the screen print. Uh, now that we have a whole bunch of colors in this artwork, it's going to be incredibly pricey, $33 per sheet. We don't want to do that. So we'll go and bring everything back down uh, just to one color. And just as easy as that, everything now over to one color. We can have it back up. Um, and you can see that our pricing drops back down uh, with our one color. It's even telling us here one great thing about Easy View. We don't want to rip you guys off. So if you are close, so here we have eight quantity, but if we increase to just 12, so we're going to buy more transfers, we're going to hit a quantity break, that's actually going to knock $14 total off our order. Don't believe me? I'm here to show you. 77 bucks right here. Let's jump this up to 12 quantity. And where does our pricing go? 62.54. We're saving money and getting more transfers. Why we tell you those things? To help your business out. We're not in the business of ripping people off or giving you a bad experience. We are in the business of helping you and your t-shirt business thrive. So we are here for you. We always want to be available um, and, and you know help you out the most we can. And this is just one of those ways to do it. Um, so that's going to be the end of our Easy View session here. I'm glad I was able to jump back in and show you guys that stuff. Um, let's talk about promoting before we really wrap it up here today. So whether you're doing an Etsy listing, a Facebook promotion, or dealing with those partnerships that I talked about uh, earlier, you need to be out there promoting your business uh, and let people know about it. Because as long as you're marketing your business, you're, you're letting your audience know or, or your local community know that you have the capabilities to do these adventure shirts. You have the, the capabilities to do um, you know, the, the road trips, the, at any occasion, uh, even if it's like festivals and events, you need to be showing it to show people that you could do it using that mock-up tool. And those free mock-ups that we just gave you is a great starting point because you don't actually have to produce anything. You can just whip up some designs and say, Hey, I can make this for you. I could personalize this for you. Um, and it's a great way to do it. So of course, the Etsy shops, uh, Facebook promotion, Facebook ads, even if you have a storefront, an e-commerce store, Shopify, Big Cartel, something like that, maybe you want to drive some traffic uh, using some Google phrases and dabble into some Google marketing. And so when somebody searches, you know, Daytona Beach t-shirts, that you're the person who shows up, uh, that's Getting into all of that, that's a, that's a topic for another time. And that's a lot of what I actually do here at Transfer Express is the digital marketing side, managing Google ads, SEO, all the complicated stuff like that. Um, but I don't want to get into that. Let's talk about it. Let's keep talking about t-shirts. Um, the Facebook promotion, Facebook ads is super easy, especially when Facebook recommends, hey, this post is doing well. You want to boost it and you throw 25 bucks for it, for it say target my, uh, you know, 25 miles around my current location. 
and then they're able to target that. You could target to a local community, get saturated, and then people go, hey, I saw your saw your ad on uh, Facebook. And you're like, yes, it's working. Do you need uh, your family going on a road trip or vacation? You need, you need some shirts? And then you get the sale. Uh, those par partnerships that I'm talking about uh, could be anything as simple as influencers. So if somebody is uh, like a travel vlogger, hey, Maybe get them a shirt for the next destination that they're going to. Send it to them for free using that Ultra Color Max. We saw there was no minimums or you could gang things together. So you could have one of each. It doesn't matter. Um, and so, uh, yeah, talk about those or those tour groups that we talked about, the tour guides, the travel agencies, uh, maybe even some local shops around you. Like we were talking about the uh, uh, if you're doing campgrounds or state parks, uh, get to those locally owned convenience stores or little ice cream parlors. If they're not selling apparel, hey. Can I just stand a rack up in here? I'll cut you guys a commission on anything you sell um, or any consignment or, or however you want to set it up. Or, hey, you sell five shirts, all of the profit goes to you. Anything after that, I start making, you know, um, and then you just check in the inventory if they're in your local area. There's tons of ideas and you could. Got, I just want to get the wheels going for you guys and get you inspired to sell more apparel here. Um, yeah, stores around those state parks or any beaches. Uh, sometimes there's those convenience stores that aren't selling apparel, you know, like the boardwalk shops, and they can be picking it up. If it's, you know, I, you know, I got my beer from Dave's Beer Shack in Virginia Beach or something, you know, something like that. You could sell it to them and then also sell the vacation shirts that are going to go on the rack as well. And just the impulse buys when you're at the register and when you price them at that 10, 15 bucks, People will snatch them up. Of course, hell, we didn't get a chance to go to the actual souvenir shop, but we're on the way out of town. I want something, you know, to take for my travels or buy for somebody. Uh, that is the sole reason that like gift shops exist in airports is that people who are leaving the airport. Oh, no, I didn't get a souvenir. I didn't get a postcard. Oh, no. And they're there. And then you're going to buy them. And then you're going to go home with stuff. So get on, get on top of that. Get your business in there, too. Um, those bridal shows that we talked about, too. So, uh, you know, you don't have to necessarily just think inside the box. You could think outside the box. Um, before we do uh, get out of here today, one extra topic that I told you we were going to be talking about is uh, licensing issues. So um, you need to uh, watch out here with Disney. It is the number one most abused thing. And a lot of people say, oh, it's for personal use. It's okay. And for personal use, uh, yeah, it's technically not okay, but Disney's not, that's going to, they have too many fish to fry. They're not going after everybody who's doing personal use. I'm going to tell you to just try to avoid it. Um, here's a great example is one here using all the characters, a personalized Disney shirt. And funny enough, this, this Etsy listing, when we were making this webinar about two weeks ago, this was a live Etsy listing product right there um, with the customized from this Rustic United store uh, or whatnot with this uh, commonly used uh, character Mickey Mouse head with all of the characters in it. Uh, I went back today right before the webinar started to try to find the exact listing. I saved the link. The link goes to a 404 page on Etsy. Oops, this listing's not here anymore. Uh, even tried to go find the store and I can't find the store at all. So um, Etsy is very, very diligent. If you're selling online, uh, Etsy is going around all the time. Pretty much if you have Disney or Star Wars or Frozen or Mickey Mouse in your product listing, you're going to be lucky if that stays up a week or more without it getting pulled down. Of course, there are some a very, very few amount of people out there with traditionally licensed apparel. Um, and of course, reselling apparel that you bought from uh, somebody who holds a license and uh, the right to, to reproduce that intellectual property that you could resell it. But if you're creating it yourself, just stay away from it. Uh, a lot of people say like, oh, well, just send me a cease and desist and I'll stop. Uh, but if they could prove that you were profiting, they're going to come after you for those damages. And uh, legal fees are nothing for Disney. And it might shut down your entire home-based business. If you're not incorporated in LLC, those damages could include your house, your car. So please try to avoid it at all costs. You're going to see people doing it and let them assume the risk. I don't want you guys to have to, you know, lose your house or car because you did a couple Disney shirts that Disney found out about and now they're coming after you, you know. Uh, of course, that's doom and gloom, and I don't want to be all doom and gloom here. So I want to tell you the alternative. Here, over on the right-hand side, is a perfect way to get some personalized Disney shirts. You could even say Douglas Disney Vacation. That is okay to use. You can't say, you can't just have it say Disney World. And this is using the Waltograph font 
So it looks very, very similar to the Disney font, but is an open use, free use font uh, that Disney has not uh, went after. I think Walter Graf's been out for, what, 12, 14, 15, 16 years, maybe. Uh, and Disney has not done anything to it. It's far enough away from it looks very similar, but it's far enough away from the actual Disney font that they don't uh, they don't they don't pursue anything on it, at least that in my research that I was able to find. And I've seen it on Defont and all over the Internet for a very, very long time. And it would be pulled down if Disney wanted it down. Believe me, Disney's got some power. <laughs> so uh, looking at that, the generic castle, putting in the magical inspired, uh, even the little cartoon hand, the planets that kind of make it, the planet and rainbow that kind of make it look like Mickey Mouse ears, but it's not. Um, and so this is a great way that you can do it. The little fairy is just a generic silhouette of a fairy blowing some pixie dust and makes it look super magical, but you are avoiding all intellectual property that Disney owns. Um, yeah, and... It's pretty much since Baby Yoda. When Baby Yoda came out, um, D D Etsy went wild uh, with a whole bunch of bootleg Star Wars merch. And that's really when the crackdown started, uh, especially with Disney, Star Wars, any of those kind of uh, very, very popular franchises that Disney owns. Yeah, they're coming after it. And Etsy, uh, because they did get in trouble, is very, especially this year, they've been cracking down hard. And it's not just removing the listing. They will remove the, uh, they'll remove your entire store or put you on pause or put you in timeout, as some of those Etsy stores, uh, Etsy creators like to say. So, uh, yeah, it's not just a cease and desist, uh, but. Yes, just like this listing, this was the perfect example. And I was really hoping that I was going to be able to still find it uh, so that I could throw a link in and say, hey, check out this listing. Let's see how long it takes to get pulled down. But it got pulled down uh, pretty much um, uh, um, immediately. Um, so, Melissa, thanks for joining. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I hope you got that download pack. Um, and that's going to be great. Yeah, Kelly, uh, they do watch intellectual property. And that's uh, pretty crazy. Uh, so, Jeffrey, uh, what happens when you buy graphics that were bought on design bundles that comes with a license? Am I able to get those made with transfers? Yes, you can. Um, if it is, say, like Mickey Mouse or something or a very recognizable character, we're actually going to reach out to you uh, and say, hey, do you have the license for this? Uh, Boys and Girls Club of America, the Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts are very common Um we see, see things all the time for NFL. Um, and of course, you could apply for a Disney license yourself. It's a lengthy application process. Um, and I did it earlier today asking if I could do stuff for just some T-shirts for a family vacation. And you want to know what? Uh, it Pretty much immediately, when you get the confirmation email that says, hey, we're Disney. We got your request for a licensing request. No. That's uh, pretty much what the email says. Uh, that just says no right out the bat. Uh, that somebody will contact you if they review it and actually want to pursue uh, offering you the opportunity to buy a license uh, because they sell so much of apparel at their Disney stores, at the actual uh, theme parks themselves, and airports across the country, not just in Orlando, um, and malls everywhere, uh, that it is incredibly hard to actually get a real license, especially as a small-time decorator. So just try to avoid it. Stay out of hot water. Um, yeah, and uh, incorporate into an LLC to protect yourself uh, and your business uh, if you are thinking about taking your t-shirt business seriously. Um, so that's that's my advice. I'm not a lawyer, cannot offer legal advice. Uh, as a disclaimer here, please consult your attorney for any true legal advice. I'm just trying to give you some tips to stay out of uh, the hot water so you that you don't need to hire a lawyer um, and, and keep it going. So one more thing before we get out of here. Um, if you don't know about our marketing kit, uh, this is the opportunity to pick one up at a special price. So this is usually the special that we only offer uh, at on 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 you know on site at trade shows. Thirty five dollars, you're saving fourteen dollars off of our full marketing kit. It includes twenty plus full size display transfers that you see there on the right hand side. Uh, you get a price guide. You get some posters. You get a black and white idea book that you can loan out to people. You get a full color idea book and a binder that is customized to you and your business. So nobody knows, nobody actually knows that we exist. They think it's you and your capabilities. And the thing I love about the binder, um, I say it all the time, is like if you're just going to pitch a school district, you could take everything else out except maybe sports and school layouts. So they're not flipping through 300 pages of like this doesn't, you know, I don't, I don't care about that. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. No, we're not doing Easter shirts. No, we're not doing Fourth of July shirts. No, 
It's just you could you could pick and choose what you're going to present to your customers. They could get right down to it. They could find the layout that they want, and you could close that deal for the apparel. It includes a T-shirt too. So that one right there, I make custom T-shirts. Ask me how. We'll even give you the transfer there, so you could print that T-shirt as soon as you get it. So if you just got a heat press, this is a great way to really kickstart your apparel business. In fact, we call it the apparel business in a box. Um, as part of that thirty-five dollars, you get ten dollars off immediately on your next purchase. So let's just say we lower this this special now down. You're getting ten dollars back. So essentially, it's twenty-five dollars for this kit. Right next to that coupon, right next to the uh, Magic Dance School, is the Color Selector Swatch Book. So it is an actual swatch book of 102 colors, uh, from our glitter to our regular standard screen printer, to the glow in the dark, uh, to the pearl prints. Every ink and effect that we have for our screen printer transfers is in that book. 102 physical screen printing screens go into making that book. That's a $20 value if you buy it just by itself. So now we took the $10 off. We took $20 off. You're essentially paying $5 for everything else in this kit. It's an incredible deal. A one-time offer. Uh, I saw Mike just threw that, that link in there for the special. Uh, and this is the only opportunity that you're able to pick it up. So if you haven't picked up this year's idea book uh, and marketing kit, this is your opportunity to save some serious cash and kickstart your business. Um, and this is something that uh, I try to try to give uh, as often as I can, but I get shot down by leadership because they think I give too much stuff away. So please don't tell anybody about that mock-up pack, okay? That mock-up pack that we gave you guys today, just, just keep it on the down low, hush, hush. Use it to sell your business. I'm kidding. They know about it. I'm not going to get in trouble. But I want to I want to give you guys all the free stuff. I would give you one of these marketing kits for free just to show you how big of a deal it could be for you and your custom decorating business. But I want to say thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. Just a little bit over an hour and 20 minutes. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them right here. Uh, we'll try to stay on and uh, be able to uh, to answer some questions for you if uh yeah, Tanya, we do. Uh, we don't have rainbow glitter. We have a rainbow foil. Um, but we want to be able to answer your questions here. And if we didn't answer your question today uh, and you want to see some more, come join me live on YouTube. Uh, that one will be all on camera. We'll be in our video studio. Uh, and I won't have any slides like this to present some information for you. Um, but we'll be holding up T-shirts. We could be applying some Ultra Color Max samples or Goof Proof or whatever you want to see. If you're applying Elastoprints or you're, you know, glow in the dark, we'll try to find some samples and source them here for you. Uh, even if I heard there were some some uh, questions about stickers in there, we could actually pull some stickers out and show you the stickers, what they look like. If you want to see more what's in the marketing kit or what's in our application kit or how to set the temperature and time on a Hotronics press or how what, what difference is the A to Z press to, you know, whatever you want to ask, we are available for you. I, I'm telling you guys, I am dedicated to helping your t-shirt business and everybody else here at Stalls Transfer Express is dedicated to helping you and your business thrive. We want to be here. Uh, stay in touch. Anytime you need us, you can email us, info at transferexpress.com. Uh, it's not manned 24-7, but I would say it's manned 24. Uh, usually third shift is looking at that as well. So we have customer service working around the clock, even though our phone hours end at 630 uh, Eastern. We are available uh, on our live chat a little bit later to like seven, I think. And then even uh, emailing, we might be able to get to you overnight. But mostly we just try to try to keep up and keep the information going. You can call us uh, Monday through Friday, 8 to 6.30 p.m., uh, 1-800-622-2280. Read and subscribe to the blog, blog.transferexpress.com. That's where you're going to get up-to-date info on all of those new layouts and clip art that are being added into the designer. We talk, we talk about them. We show you them. We show you them in use with what different color ways you can do it. And it's really inspiring. The designers do a great job putting the, that entire series together. And then also helpful stuff like this. So we have articles about how you could go try to help sell uh, travel travel apparel, how to go sell to bridal and bachelor parties. Maybe if you have a band, the stuff that you could print for bands and artists and musicians, like all that stuff we put on the blog uh, so that you could read it anytime. Of course, the website's transferexpress.com where we were there in the Easy View Online Designer. You can visit us, visit us at those trade shows that I mentioned earlier. Um, everything embroidery market right now, Abby and Stacy down there. I wish I was down in Tennessee. I love that, that fun little state down there. Um, but yeah, they're down in Tennessee now. Uh, Graphics Pro Indie, Graphics Pro Medellin's in July, and then Long Beach back out in August, which I'm going to try to get on out there uh, as well. Robin, I see that. Uh, it looks like Mike dropped that link for the marketing kit special in there again. Um, I see a lot of thank yous coming in. Uh, thank you guys for attending. This is what we are here for. Uh, Felicia, Felicia, if you are still here, let's pop over in the, to, into the designer. I'll show you here real quick. 
that we could do stickers too. So um, this is where we, we could end this one too. If you're still with us, uh, this is, uh, I hope that's not flickering weird for you guys. That looked really weird on my end. So right here, we have this design. If we wanted to cut this design into a sticker, uh, yes, we are still here. So perfect, right where we change our print method. So let's just go do full color. And right here, all-purpose sticker or window decal. So window decal has the face side adhesive. All-purpose sticker has the backside adhesive. So uh, all-purpose sticker right here. So if we needed, uh, this is a gigantic sticker. So if you wanted a nine, nine <laughs> inch wide sticker, uh, all the same, but say we want to adjust this to a proper size, like a what, 3.5 inches. This is the $25 minimum coming back into play. So let's see uh, what, what price they're going to be here. About a buck 21 per sticker so looking at a 20 look we could save 55 cents by just increasing to, increasing to 25. so here at 25 bam we're there 30 25 one dollar and 21 cents per image we will get these die cut so they'll come on a full sheet and they'll actually be kiss cut so they will be die cut to the shape our designers will trace this shape here for you uh, if you want it to be a circle of course you could just go in here to our clip art library and we'll just type in circle and let's just grab one of these full circles. So if you want it to just be a circle, we'll color this circle white. And another feature that I could show you here, a range at the top. So we'll send it to the back and then bam, we're all set. We'll size this one up. We could say we want this one to be 3.5 inches. And then we could grab this and make it a little bit smaller. So it fits right in that 3.5 inches. We can move this around. Instead of saying no ink, let's make it white, which it would have been white anyway. We could turn this sideways so it fits this sticker. And right here, we could order 25 stickers for 35 bucks. And there's no other place online that you could really design a sticker like this and have it just as cheap. So all these custom decals, if you want it to be face side adhesive to put it onto a window, we just click full color and click on over to window decal. And just like that, everything is all set. You're able to go through the same process. Uh, white outline will be around. So this is going to show you pretty much exactly what it's going to look like. You'd add any notes to the design team to say, hey, uh, I don't know how to change this color. I want to change it to that. You could do all that stuff. Uh, it does make it so super easy here in Easy View Online Designer. That's why, I mean, if, if it wasn't easy, we couldn't call it Easy View Online Designer. And just like that, you could order those stickers. So I hope that answered that question. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah, and in the in the looks like the mock-up, you could put your business name in there. Um, yeah, Pam, happy to record it, happy to give you this information. Um, and then, uh, yeah, as we go, there's a show in Tennessee. Yeah, Jim, right now, everything embroidery in Chattanooga is going on right now. Abby and Stacy are down there. The show opened today, and I believe it is free to attend. Don't quote me on that, but go to everything embroidery market. Just Google search it. You're going to see the Chattanooga show is going on through today through to tomorrow, maybe even Saturday. Don't quote me on that. I would have to look that up as well. Um, but it's really cool. A nice little craft show, a lot of embroidery, a lot of sublimation. Um, and of course, screen printed transfers are there. Go down there, uh, check out the craft press. I believe they have the craft, the pink craft press. Um, and they're selling that, that floor model too. So that's like the cheapest you could get that thing. I think that's like 10 or 20% off if they haven't sold it already. I shouldn't speak for them because the show's, <laughs> show's been going on here for a couple hours already. Um, but yeah, that's a great show. Uh, anytime you see us uh, out on the road, love to have it. Morgan, thank you so much for attending. Uh, Faith, go teach that class, but thank you for attending. Uh, Daryl, thank you. Felicia, thank you for attending. Uh, Yasmin, yeah. Um, uh, Kendrick, the uh, toast transfers kits are normally between 35 and 40 bucks. The current kit is sold out uh, because it's still last week. The new one's going on sale, uh, I believe, next week, starting Monday or Tuesday. So keep an eye out at TransferExpress.com for it. We, of course, always send an email when they go on sale uh, so that you could get it. And we do a limited quantity. So we usually make about 300 or 400 kits. Uh, and when they're sold out, they're out. So because um, we, we buy everything in advance and build all the kits so that we could ship them same day so that they all arrive to you before the actual event depending on when you buy them. Um, and then, yeah, we're even chipping them a couple days right up until the event to try to get them in people's hands so they could press along with us. And we always have the goal that if they're still available, because we get asked all the time at the Toast of Transfers, do you guys still have kits available? I just, I these look, these samples are awesome. I want to make one for my son, my daughter, my niece, my nephew. Uh, do you have more? Um, and they always sell out before the actual event. So uh, this one we ordered just a little bit more. 
but this is a value pack. It is, uh, I think, $45 to $5 more uh, than the last one, but it does include, man, a ton of stuff. A tank top, an apron, a can cooler, and a tote bag, and a really, really nice deluxe tote bag as it is. So um, we give you two different kinds of transfers to apply to all of it. Uh, and really kind of in give you those samples, the confidence in printing, and then you're able to show that to your customers on social media, and you can feel confident when somebody comes to you and goes, hey, uh, we're doing a gag gift for the office, and we need 40 aprons, and you're like, no problem. I've printed an apron before. I know how easy it is. I'm going to get some goof proof and slap it on there just like I did. Um, it was so easy when I was, you know, a couple gin and tonics or margaritas deep on the toast of transfers. I was hanging out with staff and the transfer express crew and yeah. And then you have these samples to show off, uh, use for yourself. They're going to be all kind of, uh, uh, backyard and summer themed. So, uh, you're going to be able to have, uh, you know, some great samples to show off your capabilities and stuff you could use yourself. So, um, that's it in there. Yes, uh, you could just put your own business name right there when you are buying uh, the marketing kit special. And that's going to how it's going to be customized directly to you. Um, Felicia loves the toast to transfers. Always get the kit early. That's the way to do it because you never know when. Uh, we only buy certain sizes too. So we do everything from like size small all the way up to extra large or 2X. Uh, sometimes 2X sometimes is more expensive depending on what we're buying. So um I think we usually try to keep it at the same fee, but we have a whole bunch of different sizes uh, and we are pretty spot on with looking at the data of how many we've sold for what uh, quantity, for what size we should make. Uh, but once those specific sizes are out, usually that's about it. Uh, so make sure if you want to get on Toaster Transfers, keep an eye out early next week uh, and, and pick up your kit so you could join us. I believe that one is, uh, yes, May 26th is when that Toast to Transfers is going to be. It's a Thursday evening, 7 o'clock Eastern. So a little bit later than we are right here today, but we're able to hang out and enjoy our time with you guys. But um, yes, uh, yeah, tote bags sometimes are weird. Tote bags are are really weird and aprons sometimes are really weird. We, the ones we specifically buy, I believe, are Port Authority and we've tested on all of them before we send them out to you. So then that too, you get uh, you get the tote, but you get that specific, that model, that that uh, that, is that specific style that then you could feel confident working on it. Because some of those, yes, some of those aprons have that stain defender uh, coating on it, Kathy, and nothing will stick to it. That's when you have to bust out the alcohol and start rubbing them or you wash them with whatever certain detergent that washes that off of it. It's just a pain. So we try to avoid those. Those, if you're embroidering, that's fine. Printing on anything, even if you're direct screen printing or direct to garment on those things, it's going to wash right off. It's not going to stick. So you want to avoid that stuff altogether. Um, Darren, we're never going to get rid of easy view. It's all right here. Glad you enjoyed the webinar. Um, uh, Ven Ven Venita? Venetia, Venetia, Neely. Um, yes, uh, if you purchased a marketing kit a couple years ago, uh, we it has all of the new layouts in the idea book. So those, like I mentioned, we're updating new layouts in the idea book all the time. Uh, and so those will be in there. Uh, yeah, uh, Dean H. Jackal, but never wanted to use it. Yeah, because you don't want to ruin the garment. That's exactly right, Kathy. Um, but yes, uh, yeah, uh, Mike answered it there. It has new posters, new color selector with all the updated colors, a catalog with all the new layouts and clip art. And of course, brand new trendy samples, those brand new 20 transfers of all of our different transfer types. If you got it a couple years ago, you might not have even seen Ultra Color Soft. You might not have seen Ultra Color Max. So all of these brand new transfer types, you still get a full sheet of them. Uh, you get a full size graphic of the Ultra Color Max that you're able to apply and get confidence and show off your capabilities. So then you're no longer color counting. Because yeah, even if you didn't buy a marketing kit for two or three years, you have never seen Ultra Color Soft or Max or Stretch or any of those transfers that really could broaden your capabilities where you could say yes to many more jobs instead of saying, ah, it's photorealistic, not the way to do it. Or somebody said, ah, I, I had printed vinyl before. It's just a little thick for my liking. Uh, I'm looking for something a little bit more breathable, flexible, stretchable. I need it to be printed on Lycra or Spandex. We have those options for you, um, but they are new transfer types. So if you haven't got one in a couple of years, uh, this is definitely the time to pick one up, especially for this deal. It only comes around every once in a while. Um, or if you come see us at a physical show, uh, you could buy it at a physical show. But here, we're all in the comfort of our home, or you guys are at work or at school or in your car. I hope you're not driving, watching me. You could drive and listen to me. I guess I'm like a, a podcast <laughs> or the radio. But um, I don't want any distracted driving accidents because we're learning about bettering your t-shirt business. I appreciate your dedication. 
A plus for the dedication, but safety first, safety first. But with that, I'm going to sign off here, guys, today. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, we'll have another webinar here in uh, two weeks. I believe we're going to be talking about patterns. So we're going to be jumping into easy view a whole bunch on that one. If you guys want to come back, keep an eye out on transferexpress.com. There's always fun stuff going on. Um, and yeah, stay up to date. The Toast to Transfers, the webinars, all of our events. And of course, uh, if you guys have more questions, please let me know. Um, uh, let me know. Send us an email at info at transferexpress.com or comment on YouTube anywhere. We're going to have our YouTube live, the heat transfer answer, we call it, as the series. Series, um, where we're just going to hang out. It's Friday. Uh, let's hang out and talk about your t-shirt business. Even everything from little advice to marketing tips to, man, I'm trying to run Facebook ads and nobody's clicking on my stuff. Let me help. I want to help you guys. I want to be dedicated to you and your business. Let's all succeed this year. Let's have let's have a great a great year, a great time, and your t-shirt business has, is never going to be better. All right? Let's do it. Let's do it tomorrow. I'll see you guys uh, 2 p.m. tomorrow uh, over on the Transfer Express YouTube page. But until then, I'll sign off here. Happy pressing, guys.